Hey everyone, welcome to Tempe Kitchen, episode two. <coughs> Today I'm gonna to teach you the recipe for jungle sauce. Now, first thing you gotta do is locate your sauce cabinet. Every house has one, here's ours. As you can see, we've got a lot of different sauces from all kinds of different fast food restaurants. And the recipe is simple. All you need to do is take these sauces and combine all of them to create the perfect, most scrumptious sauce. All right, time to get these sauces in the bowl. <laughs> this bowl might actually not even be big enough. <laughs> like, not as a joke. All right, that's all the sauces. All right. Let's get squeezing. I got all the sauces here in the bowl. We've got to get them on the counter. There really, there really is a lot of them. So this is going to take a little bit. So this is a bit of a marathon episode. We're going to start with the Heinz malt vinegar, a good base for any sauce. Let's get that right in there. Love that, love that smell. Love that vinegar smell. All right, taco, no, no, Del Taco. Del Inferno. Yep, I love me some Del Taco, but I will say their sauce sucks, so I'm not looking forward to this flavor being a part of our jungle soup. All right, I've already got the sauce on my hands. <clears throat> Next, Cisco Reliance Mayonnaise, always good. Probably we got this from a hospital. I, uh, I might be going there soon myself. All right, got the mayonnaise in there. Let's, uh, let's get a little soy sauce. Kikoman, everybody's had some of this, you know. Always a nice bit of flavor in any sort of rice dish. This is looking, this is looking pretty appetizing, I gotta say. Now Cholula, a lot of people don't know, Cholula comes in little sauce packets. Very cool, very cool. Same Cholula you lo love. I didn't remember it being that thick. I don't remember Cholula being that thick, but I'm sure it'd be fine. We got a little bit of Olive Garden Parmesan sauce. Let's go ahead and Get that in there, spice it up. All right. Now let's go ahead and some Pan Express plum sauce. A perfect complement to all sorts of delicious Chinese food that you can get at Pan Express. We have a lot of sauce. <laughs> this is gonna take a long time. All right, Hellman's, Hellman's mayonnaise. I don't know, all right, this is where you open it. Hellman's is not my favorite brand of mayonnaise. I do prefer Cisco, but uh, this will have to do. It looks kind of like soap. All right, you got all that. Hopefully this bowl is big enough, like actually. All right, let's get something a little more exotic. The Wendy's Sriracha, creamy Sriracha sauce. I don't know that this will, I'm gonna time it still smells good. I know this one you're supposed to refrigerate, but you know what? Fuck, I, I fuck the rules. I don't believe in rules. Let's just keep going right along. Malt vinegar. This is a different. This is a different malt vinegar from the one we did before. I think I could be already losing my mind because of the fumes that are coming off of this sauce are affecting my rational thinking ability. This one is really in there. I don't know what to do. But no choice. It's still not open. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now we got a little bit. Ooh, it's spraying everywhere. Look at that. And there's a little gloppy part of the vinegar. This is like the uvula of the vinegar. Is that an organism? Is that a living organism? Well, I'll never, I'll never know. Because now it's part of the sauce. Another one down. Let's just keep going. Lemon juice. My fingers are slippery as fuck. All right, I didn't know lemon juice was brown, but you learn something new every day. Ketchup, Heinz ketchup. Now this is a classic. Everybody's in America. I tried to try this Heinz ketchup before in their life. Yep, look at that. Exact consistency, I remember. That's quality. That's quality ketchup. Doesn't change. All right, talk about Diablo. Di Diablo. Sorry, mom. I'm gonna be saying that when our insurance rates skyrocket. I'm gonna try to take a shot of this later. We got some Hui Fong Foods. 
I don't know what this is. Oh, sriracha, of course. Um, just over there, right there. Good, good, good. I mean, so far, this is looking pretty appetizing. This is something you might go to a five-star restaurant, peep out. Original Del Taco mild sauce, collectible even. Like I mentioned before, Del Taco is has among the worst sauces in the fast food industry. Mmm, Chick-fil-A zesty buffalo. Yeah, this is a, this is, I don't know if God approves of what we're doing, but mm, hopefully Chick-fil-A will not put us on our do not serve list. That's a lot of sauce compared to the rest of these. We got a lot of these Parmesan packets, so may as well get rid of some of them. Nice garnish now and later. This is, I think, going to make it sure it's nice and thick, nice and creamy, the way all sauces really should be. You know, some sauces could be lighter sauces, but this is a thick sauce you're going to want to put on everything. And I mean everything. Got some more soy sauce. Got some more lemon. All right, there was less than one drop of lemon in that one. Ooh, here's the one. French mustard. French's brand. I think French's is the uh, most iconic mustard brand. Miss America. I wonder if, ooh. That's actually, that's not too irregular for mustard actually. I probably, probably shouldn't be too worried about that. Smells bad like all mustard does. Del Inferno, another horrible sauce. I don't know why they, I wanna really splurge it out of there. I don't know why they give it to you. We had a lot of Diablo sauce. This is not Diablo, this is Del Scorcho, which is just worse Diablo sauce. So, this sauce, this our jungle sauce is taking a huge, steep downwards turn. Don't know if it's gonna be very good. Ooh, here's an interesting one. Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce, limited at time. I could probably sell this on eBay for at least $30. And you'll notice that the entire lid, the adhesive is completely shot. Doesn't even do anything. It's like cracking an egg to our sauce omelette. Just going right at it, a little more Parmesan, a little more consistency. Let's get the, ooh, Arby's Honey Dijon Mustard. This is a great sauce. Love that smell. I think I lost some nose hairs from that one. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't lose any of my stem cells after I have some of this. Get some more sriracha sauce. So this is exactly uh, if you're if you're if you're following this recipe along at home, this is exactly the consistency you're looking for. This recipe is tried and true. Just because everybody has the same sauces in their sauce cabinet, um, as of the recording of this video, at least. So we're gonna get exactly what we got here. This is looking pretty good. Some more Cisco minis. I really don't know where we got these. They look like they came from a movie set or something. Like the almost unbranded. Some more of that. <clears throat> oh, here's a real phone then. Chick fil A, real mayonnaise. Yep. It almost looks like it's leaking out, but I think that's just the leftover mayonnaise on my hands. And uh, if my skin starts dissolving from my bones soon, well, you'll know why. And you'll be able to recreate this exact same acid at home with your family. I'm not even reading these anymore, I'm just knowing what they are. This is Parmesan, of course. That's a double efficient method to get it open, just tear it right, it seems. Like you would a small child. <clears throat> Lemon juice. There's no liquid in this one, I already know, but I have to be absolutely, <laughs> absolutely certain. Ugh. Who, who would put lemon juice in their coffee? That's where you get those, is the coffee off. Sweet and sour sauce, McDonald's, this is the new one. Very tasty. One of my favorites, that one is almost certainly rotten. But, you know what? When it goes in the jungle sauce, nothing is rotten. So where should we look? Yeah, lemon packets from Walwa, those are in the coffee aisle. Which means that there are at least, a, at least a marketable number. Oh, this is actual Taco Bell Diablo sauce, finally. A real fucking sauce. Like I was saying, there's a, there's a quantifiable, remarkable number of people that put fucking lemon in their coffee. Can you believe it? They evaporate out of these things. 
I'm telling you. Wall wall on the back. You're going to be <coughs> currency during the apocalypse. Ugh. All right. Chick-fil-A zesty buffalo sauce. If we can get the lid off of this one. Nothing like a nice zesty buffalo. You know, buffalo wings. You do it with ranch. That nice orange waterfall. Look at that. Doesn't that just look appetizing? I wonder if I should be mixing this as I go. Actually, I don't wonder. I'm doing it perfectly correctly. Heinz ketchup. Want some more of that? Ooh. Now it exploded like a small grub before you eat it. Tartar sauce. Now this is one of my favorite sauces. I don't know what the brand this is exactly. It looks like the same brand as the lemon, which is a bad sign. But I do love tartar sauce and all my sort of uh, fish and chips, you know, all my fish dishes. It's coming out kind of like anchovy paste does when you push the anchovy paste out of the live anchovy, if you know what I'm saying. Taco Bell hot sauce. Not as hot as Diablo, but hot as mild. I'd say that it has its place. Let's see what these exact ones. Garden or ranch? Yeah. So there are garden herbs in here, apparently. It smells like there's a garden dead possum, but the taste, I'm certain, will be delectable. Some more Kikoman. Classic. That was all there, right? Don't want to waste any sauce. Yeah, all of these are worth a sizable amount of money. Some more Taco Bell mild sauce. Now this stuff, you can drink by the bottle. Very tasty. Of course, there's no real spice to it, but the flavor is there. Some more Kikoman. No problem. Sweet and sour McDonald's. McDonald's sauces, pretty, pretty good overall. I think Wendy's sauce is among the worst. This doesn't normally look like shit brown, like baby puke brown. It's not normal, but for us, it's exactly what we're looking for. Here's a great, great sauce. McDonald's mild pecante. You can only get this with the breakfast tacos. I don't even know if they still do them, but this was fantastic sauce. It gave basically all the flavor of those burritos, and I still have a lot to go, so hopefully this SD card in my camera doesn't run out. Let's get some Parmesan. Tasty stuff, tasty stuff. Tangy barbecue from McDonald's. That's another classic. You got the tangy, you got the barbecue. It's a great combo, for sure. More plum sauce, Panda Express. I don't know what you actually use this for, but I don't really like plums, so I assume I don't like plum sauce. Sriracha. I feel like a bottle of this costs the same to produce as a packet of it, because it's everywhere. But, you know, if they gotta give it out like that, that's what they gotta do. Some more Kiko Mons. Oh, now we're talking. Arby's sauce. Yep. Belong, used to belong to Arby himself. Now this. It's basically just ketchup and barbecue sauce mixed together. Don't tell Arby that I told you that though, because that's a trade secret. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Kikomans, because we didn't have enough salt in this sauce already. Del Taco mild sauce. Horrible. I'd rather drink a clean detergent. A lot of lemon juice. I have a lot of these laying around. It's about time I put them to good use. That would go mild, tasty. It's gonna add that delicious, delicious mild flavor that we're looking for. Sriracha is gonna add that delicious, delicious unmild flavor that we're looking for. Now this is a this is a fun one. Novelty ketchup packet where you squeeze it out, or you would squeeze it out if you could get the fucking. Yeah, you would squeeze it out. Like so, is not fun. Just like a regular thing of ketchup. Very entertaining. <laughs> worth the uh, worth the price in and of itself. This is getting more and more difficult as I go along. Kiko Mons, love that classic soy sauce. The elbow sauce. Another so we got another sorry mom. Look at that sorry mom. Very sorry. I'm sure she's proud of me for what I'm doing. For my contribution to science here, but ooh, now this horsey sauce. This is one of those sauces you know you're gonna be able to taste in that amalgamation. This is a shit. This is what turns Arby's from a 
eight out of 10, maybe a seven out of 10 fast food chain to a nine out of 10. You get the horsey sauce on the <clears throat> classic beef and cheddar, you're good to go. Del Inferno, shit sauce, not good. I don't know why I have them in here at all. Another Arby sauce. I stole this, I stole this one from Arby. Heinz tomato ketchup. Definitely the most recognizable sauce, I think, in all of America. And there are a lot of sauces. And the Kikawan, I mean, they, they give these things out like, like napkins, so. And I got a super idea, we got somebody in this house. A little lemon juice in there. Del Inferno. Horrible. Anytime they don't ask if I want them, they give them, and then I just put them in the sauce cabinet. Now we're putting them to good use, or to rest. Some more real mayo. Not bad, actually. Honestly, the t one of the tastier things. Actually, never mind. Now it tastes like dirt. French mustard. Also changed from mustard to literal little dry paste. This is like the te texture of a crayon. Maybe a little more liquid. All right. Tomato ketchup. Can't go wrong with that. Got the lemon sauce. Maybe I'll just one maybe I'll one drop out of that one. Del ketchup. Del Taco has their own ketchup, wouldn't you know? And like all their other sauces, it is pretty bad. Just get whatever else you can. Lemon. Well, I'm very glad I hoarded all those for all these years. Hot chocolate hot sauce. Got a good amount of that in my mouth. Pretty good. Del Inferno, awful. I would rather pry my testicles off and then have consume any of that. Other than, of course, in the context of the uh, jungle sauce. More tartar sauce. Now this, <clears throat> this is some sauce. If I can. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. This is what I like to see, this is it. All right, quick check. I mean, we're getting a lot of good volume here. Uh, I almost want to start mixing, but I think I'll just save that for the end. You'll notice that the Parmesan has sort of uh, moved to the outside on its own accord. An interesting scientific phenomenon that I'm proud to name the Tempe Effect. Chick-fil-A sauce. I stole this one from Chick-fil-A, which is not even a lie. Because that's what you do with all sauces. This is actually gonna work. Chick-fil-A sauce, ladies and gentlemen. This is what they put in your Chick-fil-A sauce. Nothing twice. Some more sriracha. I honestly don't know why there's so much sriracha here. I think there's maybe one restaurant that gave them out once and they just gave us all of these. Because there are a lot, I can just see there's tons of them. <clears throat> They're everywhere. All right. All right, that's, not, that's apparently not open. All right, no. Still, still not open. Is, is, is there even sauce in here? Can I force it out with intense, insane pressure? Because <laughs> I don't know if I can, I don't know if I want to just bite it out. Fuck. There we go. Oh my god. Wow. <clears throat> that really splattered everywhere. Good thing I was wearing my protective apron. Well, we may as well honor the dead. It's fallen. Olive Garden Parmesan. Rest in peace. Alright. Meanwhile, a fallen lemon packet. What a fucking tragedy. Oh well. <coughs> soy sauce. Panda Express soy sauce. Interesting note, this is not Kikoman. Oh, wait, no, it is, it is Kikoman. But Panda Kikoman. Get that in there. Some more of that Parmesan. A little bit more of that cheese. I would have said cherry cheese, but definitively not cherry cheese. Here's an interesting one. Louisiana hot sauce. Can you guess where we got this one? Because I couldn't. It was a hot dog 
stand or something. But there it goes. Got a little more Kikoman soy sauce. Plenty of these. And you can tell anytime uh, we needed soy sauce. We didn't we didn't go to Publix, we didn't go to <clears throat> Walmart, we just went to uh, Pan Express and we took what we deserved. We got a lot of talk about Diablo sauce getting here now. This is a legendary sauce, I don't even need to tell you. Let's show them. Hey, let's do it. That went two different directions. <laughs> Defying the laws of physics, but that is a result of the anti-physical zone being created by this jungle sauce, which I will call the Tempe Effect 2. Got a lot of Kikoman. Let's not waste any time. It's a Pan Express plum sauce. I don't know how they invented plum sauce. Seems like jam, seems like jelly. I don't know why you put that on rice. More soy sauce. Love it. Love me some soy sauce. That spray could actually start damaging property. But you know what? That's just another part of the Tempe effects too. Now here is an interesting case. Looks like this honey mustard already broke out of the packet and is holding on to, holding these Kikoman mustards captive. All right, well, I'm a man of my word. There we go. Isn't that just appetizing? And since these two are practically conjoined twins to that guy, let's just get him in there real quick. So, think about how much, how much sauce you collect, you know? How much sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's you collect. Think about how much uh, sriracha you collect in these packets. Think about how much plastic, you know, we're spending on these things. What an interesting thought. This is, what, a year's worth of sauce packets? Maybe three months? I would say we probably accumulate all these in a week or less. Incredible. Heinz tomato ketchup, another all-time classic. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of that. We still have a lot to go. I don't think we're even halfway through. Kikoman soy sauce. What can I say about Kikoman soy sauce that hasn't been said before? Cholula, classic hot sauce. Honestly, the default hot sauce as far as I'm aware. Some people tell you crystal, some people tell you sriracha, but sriracha is a little bit different because it's thick, it's not really watery. Oh my goodness, this is not Heinz. Hey, this ain't Heinz, this is Hunt's. Hunt's tomato ketchup. I don't know what they were smoking when they thought they could compete with Heinz, but, well, you smoked it. As far as I'm aware, it could very easily just be identical to Heinz and just a uh, label. There is a lot of sriracha in this, in this, in this pot. And I really don't know where we got all of them. I really don't know because thinking about like different restaurants that exist, none come to mind that give you sriracha packets like this. But there has to be one, one or two, Diablo sauce. You could say this is the uh, most iconic, most definitive Taco Bell sauce. Oh, the anticipation. Right. So what do you think it's going to taste like? Me? I think it's going to taste like the shiny whatever is inside the shiny box from Pulp Fiction. That's what this is going to taste like. Let me just tell you that much right now. Go on soy sauce. <clears throat> the tear here is becoming thinner and thinner with each one of these. Soon it will be nothing at all. The difficulty is increasing, not only because my hands are getting slipperier, but because these, my options are becoming more and more difficult, it seems. That was three soy sauce in a row. Just goes to show you, we got a lot of soy sauce here. Honey mustard, classic, favored by small children and my sister. Is it? As good as they say, well, look at this. You tell me, right? Honey mustard. And we get some mild sauce. Honestly, pretty good, uh, pretty good mixer. Get a little vodka, a little mild sauce. And you know, if we get ready for a night, you will not forget. A lot of mild sauce, uh, all in the same spot. This one is horribly deformed, and that was before we started breaking these open. But make do. Make. All right, there we go. Just a little bit of, just a little. Finagling. Here we go. This is not Kikoman. This is Carry Out Co. Soy Sauce. 
Incredible. A brand new, brand new brand if I can get it open for my hands with them. Completely slippery. That's gonna be my ass after I eat some of this sauce. Talk about mild sauce. Just adding the equation. Hong Kong food co, sriracha. Got that rooster. Everybody loves that rooster. Mmm, tangy barbecue. Really nothing special about tangy barbecue. Probably one of the worst sauces at McDonald's. And not to mention, why do they design their sauces so difficult to open? We might never know. We might just never know. Sriracha! There's a lot of this. It feels like there's more sriracha than anything else in this fucking house. Even ketchup, which is kind of not a main... Oh, we have another hostage situation. You see the Chick-fil-A sauces, they like to break out. They like to break out. So they, this one captured some mayonnaise and the sriracha. This is the Polynesian sauce, which is coveted. The slid wasn't even on there. It was just... This is solid. This is fully, this sauce is not liquid. But you know what? We still, we don't, no, 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 no child left behind, you know? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna pull it out. And I'm very excited to be putting this in my arteries very soon. I think I could probably glue together airplane turbines with that. But we're gonna leave it for now because we've got it's hostage victims. Ooh, this wasn't mayonnaise, I was wrong. It's tartar sauce. Incredible. Simply, it's not gonna be enough. Strong kiss. Yep. Now that is a sauce to die for, tartar sauce. Put it on your uh, seafood. Put it on your fish and chips. It's so good. Much better than the sriracha, which is Great in some soups. Doing a lot of soups actually. <sighs> ketchup. That's a lot of ketchup in that packet. Tell you what about Heinz, they don't skimp. You got a fucking like a lemon package, you got sitting there literally 99% air. Del Taco is like maybe not Del Taco. Taco Bell is maybe like 70%. Heinz ketchup, that shit is hundred percent full. They ain't joking around. I don't know how long I've been doing this, but it feels like it could be hours, centuries even. I may have become uh, a year or two older during this during this important adventure. Got any from this lemon packet? One. There's something hairy in my uh, out of that lemon packet. I'm not gonna think about that any more than I have to. Ooh, a lot from that one. Relatively speaking, of course. Borsi sauce, like I said before. You get your beef and cheddar, plus oyster sauce, hard to beat. Hard to beat that one. Got some rabbit sauce. Ooh, almost completely missed the bowl with that one. That would have been an embarrassment. Here we go. Texas peat hot sauce. Now we're talking. This was red when we got it. This shit is pretty good in terms of hot sauces. Is it Texas hot? I don't know if I'd say that, but is it peat hot? I'd say it's peat hot. Yeah, damn it. All right, this has got to be enough. Not enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I swallowed a couple of these packets. They're just in my digestive tract right now. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here's the sriracha, which is now my least favorite sauce. Kikomon. Pretty good, nice and easy, nice and cooperative. Chick-fil-A barbecue sauce. This feels like there should be another solid one, but nope. Chick-fil-A sauce, it retains its liquid form. Let's go. Always happy to see that. Always happy to see that. Sriracha. All right, let's go. These are like blue boxes. So you don't know if you're gonna get a nice easy one or if you're gonna get shot in the face. You know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Del score show. Worse than worthless. Diablo. Yeah, this is a problem solved moment, I'd say. I thought this was the Target logo for a second, but it's Pokemon. 
Real mail. Good filet. Exciting. Soy sauce. Pan Express brand. Going in. More of this shit. Nice and easy. Del Taco hot. Going in. Keep them on. Increasing speed here a little bit. Another Texas Pete. One of the rare hot sauces we're playing around here. Here's another fun one. And take take off the look. It's like, like a real thing. Catch up, take off the bottle cap. You just take off the bottle cap. You just take off the bottle cap. Alright, bottle cap, I took it off with my hands. Now you really just it's like you're squeezing it out the bottle. These things are fantastic. And if you want to, you can peel the whole thing off and use it as a dip for ketchup, which is great. Very versatile. Spice of life. Another thing, it hunts tomato ketchup. I don't know why you exist, but you do. Gardner Branch, love this stuff. Which is what I would say if I could remember what it tasted like. But at this point, the only thing I can remember the taste of is sriracha sauce. Because it penetrates my pores. I may be scarred for life after this, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Although, I can't even get this. There we go. Just a little bit of force is what we really needed. Soy sauce, salt and water, and soy, assumedly. Here's a question for all you international folk. Do the Asians that use soy sauce, do they still use salt? Like sour salt? I don't know. Since the disaster of this one. I don't know, they use salt and they use soy sauce. <laughs> Judging by the amount of soy sauce packets I have here. I don't say maybe they just use soy sauce. But you know, I don't really know. It's an interesting question. Alright, pull the eyes. And it's still not open. Hoi Hong Hoi Fong Foods, everyone. Hoi Fong Foods. The best of packet sauces, clearly. Little Diablo sauce never lets me down. Now that, then that's what people over there talk about. Say what you will, but they know how to put sauce into a packet, I'll say that much. Soy sauce, also nice and easy. Sweet and sour McDonald's, great on chicken nuggets. There we go, beautiful. Arby sauce, another one. Arby sauce is great. If you like ketchup and barbecue, so much that you combine them. The full thing of ketchup. Come on, soy sauce. Lemon. This is one of those awful packets. Just gotta use your teeth. Who knows why they designed it like that? Maybe to prevent people from putting lemon in their coffee. Maybe there was one rogue designer over at Wawa Incorporated and they were like, yeah, lemon packet with coffee? Are you fucking kidding me? And in order to form the rebellion, they just made the lemon packets. Could have been difficult to open. And that is something I appreciate because nobody should, putting, nobody should be putting lemon in their coffee. Arby's Oyster Sauce. Great stuff. Arby's Regular Sauce. Very tasty. And then one of these motherfuckers doesn't even have, barely even have it enough for me to break open. Go ahead and get that out there. I don't know why these. Are double thick, like it's a more more valuable than the Heinz ketchup. A little bit phosphorus, if you ask me. Hunt's ketchup, man. Good memories with Hunt's ketchup. Specifically the time that I opened the packet and didn't squirt on my face. Those are good times. Hot. Hot Taco Bell sauce. Or just you know, welcome. Tattoos didn't happen. Well, that's what the Diablo sauce tried to tell you, but no no. Lemon packet, that one was just air. This one is already empty. Yeah, it's been a while since we had a nice parmesan break, so let's go ahead and get that garnish on there. Lovely sprinkle, lovely sprinkle. It is the presentation that counts, and this is going to bring all that together in a wonderful way for your audience. Sweet and spicy sriracha. I don't know if this one was limited or not, but I can't be fucked to open it the regular way. That one is actually open like, a, like an egg. All right, I think we're at least halfway through now. And I'm becoming a, an expert at opening these with saucy hands. Another soy sauce in the pile. I went in, 
find tomato ketchup. If there's a better ketchup brand out there, Lord knows, I wouldn't know. Fine, tomato ketchup. Horsey sauce. Another good one. Love that guy. If I can taste even a smidge of the horsey sauce in there, I'm sure this will be delicious. I'm sure this will be fine. Wild sauce. Ooh, hot picante. We had the mild earlier. This one is another rare, rare find, rare drop. Hot picante. I uh, don't remember what that tastes like, but if it's like the mild but hotter, then it will be delicious. I'm certain. Lots of soy sauce here. Just getting it out of the way. Feeling good. Feeling good. Tangy barbecue. Ooh, part of this melted off. A little sticky film here. Look at that. The glue from the sticker. Mm. Well, you know, it's not the complete experience without it, obviously. Arby's sauce. You know, thinking about it now, theoretically, if you went to a fast food restaurant and you saved the sauces that you didn't eat, then these should be the worst sauces, ones that we didn't eat before. Now, is that the truth? If that was the truth, it'd be less horsey sauce. But it would explain all this sriracha. Fresh is yellow. Mustard. Mustard practically powder now. There we go. That's gonna be the worst part. Diablo, let's show them. The more Kikomon. They come in many different sizes, many different shapes, but when it's Kikomon, you can tell. Lemon juice. I looked online once how much. Ooh, malt vinegar, another rare one. Another rare drop. Look at that. Cost. Oh, good. We have to make sure this is still safe for, for consumption, obviously. I looked up how much it costs to order a 50 pack of the lemon packets once. Out of morbid curiosity. I don't think the malt vinegar has ever not come out like this. And because of this, it's going to have bubbling going on in there. One little visual for our chemist. That was Arby's sauce. And a lemon. 50 bucks for like 50 of those things. Not worth it. When you can walk into, walk into Wawa and get them for free. I think I got a little bit of that last one in my mouth. I think collectively I probably swallowed a couple of these in my sleep. It's like the spiders that the scientists tell you about. Every human over the course of their lifetime will swallow five Heinz tomato ketchup packets in their sleep. All right. The good, amount, the good news is that we're gonna have a lot of sauce left over, so I can be sure to pack this up and save it for later. You don't wanna let any of this delicious sauce go to waste. Here we go, another sriracha. It's been a wonderful long time since I had to open one of these. Oh, that one worked, excellent. Taco Bell Diablo. Almost missed the bowl entirely. Honey mustard, Chick-fil-A this time. Every brand has their own honey mustard. That's how you can tell. I'm so I'm so fucked up. <laughs> Del Taco Mild. Awful. But necessary. Ooh, Louisiana hot sauce. Now we're talking. Just, just only, just holding it has immediately made it look incredibly scuffed. But this stuff is not bad. Just got that out there. Got another Diablo sauce. This one is telling me that I'm a problem solver. I think right now I'm a problem creator. Mild. Ooh, spoiler alert. Whatever this means. Spoiler alert. I'll go ahead and spoil this for you now. This sauce is going to be delicious. So. This is a part of how to do this one. Ooh, a lot of love on that one. Horsey sauce. Okay, another nice little audio cue from that one. Hellman's mayonnaise.
lot of white substance in there right now. That's always good. Honey roast barbecue. This is another rare drop. A fine addition to our. Whoa. Here's an interesting thing to note. Chick-fil-A sauce gets solid much quicker than the other ones. Pop the mild. I gotta can't eat Chinese. As appetizing as they are, I gotta save my room for the main treat. I don't wanna spoil my appetite. There's a sriracha, nice and clean. Let me pack it. Ketchup never fails, nice and easy. Like a packet. This entire thing might just taste like lemon. And if that's the case, well, it's good to know. I think I completely missed the bowl. We got a lot of Texas beets here. I don't know where they came from, but they're here. And now, Going in the bowl. You ever, know, you ever notice that hot sauce is like 10 times hotter? You don't have it on anything? It's true. Parmesan, look good. And make sure to save two of these for garnish at the very end. What the rest of them could just be going in right now. There we go, looking good. Hope I didn't have anything else to do tomorrow. I do. Come on. Nice and easy. Got a little more Kikamon and Express flavor this time. Something, something Del Taco. This one, this one is actually solid. I can't squeeze anything out of this. What is it even in here? Solid, solid taste is left, is all that is left from this one. Well, that's uh, basically the same thing as cheese, but hot sauce form. Cheese is just that, but milk. So, that's gonna have to go in there. Mild sauce, love it. This will cool everything down, actually. The amount of microplastics in my body is surging right now. Whoa, that's so nice, that's a little kick. Party sauce, this feels like it's mostly air right now. I'm a little suspicious of this. Maybe it might burst open. Oh, no trouble. That one is it's exceptionally solid. Louisiana hot sauce, really classic. And a bit of a rarer one, but always good to have it. Del ketchup, whatever, mild sauce. Keep them on. My mustard. This one's leaking out a little bit. Buh. I've already thrown it in my mouth a little bit. I haven't even eaten yet. This goes to show you, my body knows it's got to make room. This is gonna be really good, really tasty. Whoa, that was actually straight a horizontal line. I can't wait to watch that later. That was defining physics, which is the Tempe effect too. Juice. Ooh, Heinz, another malt vinegar. Let's see if this one will actually open for the first time in Heinz fucking history. Nope. Snap of rip and tear. That's watery. Lemon packet. I never knew how hard it was to open these when I collected them. Good old Texas feet. Chick-fil-A mayonnaise. Honestly, this is looking to be less of a jungle sauce and more of a jungle soup. I should bring out a ladle, maybe throw on some meats, some vegetables. Feed it to some orphans and I'm sure they would appreciate the gesture. Dale ketchup, right after the Heinz ketchup. Following in the footsteps of the greats, apparently. My hands are starting to feel so sticky I won't be able to open them soon. Uh, that's why I uh, trouble breathing. There we go. Delicious tartar sauce. 
somehow less delicious than the other tartar sauce. Oyster sauce, still the perfect consistency. Arby's knows their preservatives. I'll tell you that much. Speaking of Arby's, here's some Chick-fil-A barbecue sauce. If they're incredibly difficult to open things. There we go, that's the strategy. Same for the Arby's Honey Dijon Mustard. Whoa. <laughs> this is almost shaving gel. Get off. Okay. This is safe and healthy to eat. I think I hear police outside already, but thankfully we barricaded the doors before we started. More sriracha. God fucking damn it. Hoi Fong Foods, everyone. Making everything incredibly difficult. And for what? So the sauce can be preserved better? I don't know. The lemon? We're running out of sauces here. Carry out soy sauce. Soon we're going to be out in the it'll be sauce tasting time. Which means my time left on this planet is nearing its end very quickly. Of course, this has to be the savior of this, I'm certain. 20 euros to barbecue. Look at that, exciting. That would be excellent on a burger. If uh, it turns out that this isn't recording, I will probably shoot myself later, but I'm sure it is. Chick fil A honey mustard. Ooh. That one has some gunpowder loaded in. Now that is a, now that is an idea, Chick-fil-A. Explosive sauce packets. Spices up your uh, restaurant. You know, people are going to Chick-fil-A, they're falling asleep. It's a little bit boring. That's how you spice it up. You get a little explosive packets in there. Come on, Audrey. Don't do this to me. Now this, all right, that's the Arby's. Even after all this time, perfect, perfect consistency. Soy sauce, in, in. No more horsey sauce. <laughs> I think if I eat any of this shit that's on my hands, I'll probably immediately grow a third arm. Mm -hmm. Now this one, it looks like it's sure ready to explode. You gotta be careful. The Heinz ketchup. Oh, yep. Yeah. Cholula. Don't want to ruin my appetite by eating plastic. Although, maybe I'll do a little bit anyways. <coughs> Feels like things are crawling in my mouth out of these packets. Even the Diablo sauce. Oh, no. I just had to get the other side. Good, good old Taco Bell. Never lets me down. Char char sauce. There's, there's a weigh in somewhere. God damn it. Oh. Come on. Come on, you fuck. I don't have the little power for it. The starter sauce understands. Damn. After all that. There we go. Not a problem. Tastes like Play-Doh. Mild sauce. Diablo sauce. We're running out of sauces. It's going to be over soon. All right. Pack it. Take two. And for what? All of those have like nothing in them. Is uh... <coughs> oh, there was a translucent substance on my thing, but thank you not. Ooh, another fun one. Love these. <laughs> Still got that perfect Heinz tomato taste. This may be the final episode of Tempe Kitchen. After this, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I think I'll have to get a mechanical stomach. It'll be worth it though. This is going to taste unbelievable. <laughs> mm. 
pretty good it is. Taste is increasing. A lot of lemon packets here then. Cholula. Diablo. Kikomon. Always a nice refresher to know that I don't have to use my teeth on that Kikomon. Whoa. Got a little bit on the popcorn over there. Tartar sauce. Come on. Medium Del Taco sauce. <laughs> yeah. Got the aisle. Ari sauce. Whoa. That one's a fire. Lemon juice. I wonder if it's a. I wonder if lemon juice in your. in your coffee is a. Less of a coffee thing, more of a tea thing. Could be a for British immigrants or something like that. I don't know. Del Scorcho. Awful. Del Ketchup. No reason to exist. My fingers are are being molded together. My dexterity is suffering. But the sauce is thriving. Only a few left to go. Plum sauce. Horrible. Whose idea was that? I should have smokers in here somewhere. You come on now, this is a sauce. Cannot go wrong. The overall color shade of this has been sort of orange, black, brownish this whole time. Splashes of white from the horsey sauce and the mayonnaise. Some right in there. Looking good. Sauce. Good old mm, Texas Pete. Coming in clutch. Oh, we're running out. Not just barbecue. A lovely solid worm. Almost sounded like I was starting a fire there. I very well might just in my own stomach. Hot Taco Bell sauce. Texas Pete. Hi, right, good friend. Oh, only a few left. Hunts, ketchup. It's not Heinz, it's Hunts. Oh, the anticipation. That's right, now this one is actually appropriate. Very soon we'll have to mix all this together. Whoops. I actually dropped one. It might be the first one I've almost fumbled. Lemon juice. I, there might be more lemon juice in this thing than anything else. Arrive. Go Arrive sauce. Taco Bell hot. In. Last one for the garnish. Sriracha perfectly opened. Get all that in there. And now, of course, the garnish. Some would say the most important part of a dish is the presentation. And I'll tell you folks, right now, this looks absolutely appetizing. This looks like a, a volcanic lava explosion. This looks like, this looks like a, an indescribable substance. Well, we're gonna take a short break while I go find my spoon, but then we can start mixing this up. And of course, the taste test. Look upon our glorious graveyard of sauces. All right. Well, I still haven't found the spoon, <laughs> so it's <laughs> gonna be another. It's gonna be another break while I open this drawer. There's nothing in here. There's no spoons in here. Here we go. I'm mixing spoon. All right, let's mix up this sauce nice and well. I'm sure this is the part you're dying to witness. We want to really just combine all these flavors and all these different little solid, these, these miscellaneous solids. We're gonna give a good little whisk in there. Oh, you can see it starting to blend. It takes a master chef to reach the perfect consistency. You no, know, what we're exactly looking for. And that master chef is me. 
because I have a cooking YouTube channel, which means I know what I'm talking about. All right, I think we're almost there. Just a little bit more mixing, as though that's going to help my case at all in the future. All right, perfect. I'm sure I have cups around here somewhere. Right. Everything I touch needs to be thrown away there. That spoon is unrecoverable. Mmm. Doesn't that just look tasty? I can't smell anything. I haven't been able to smell anything for at least 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and try some of this sauce. Conveniently close to the sink, just in case uh, anything happens. I have no idea what that tastes like. I have to try again. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get any solids this time. <laughs> Alright, that one was only mayonnaise. <coughs> one more sip. You can taste the lemon. You can taste the cheese. This just tastes like puke. This is this is purely just puke. This is puke flavored sauce. This is actually how you this is how humans create bile. See kids. They mix everything they've got in their stomach, stomach represented by the sauce drawer. And that creates bile, which you use to digest your root. No, it's just a bile aftertaste, actually. It has an aftertaste of bile, but it doesn't actually taste itself. It's like when you mix all of the colors, you get brown. Well, look. Tell me what color you see. All right, well, thanks everybody for coming to another exciting episode of Tempe Kitchen. Before you leave, I uh, I should save some of this sauce. I should rescue this spoon first of all, which in true sauce fashion immediately lost, immediately lost in the sauce. But I should also save myself a bag of this for later. There they are. All right, I'm grabbing it. Phew. Here we go. Just a little way to save this sauce for later. Um, I'm sure this is probably the best way to go about doing it. You know, this is a very tasty sauce, but we don't have a lid for this bowl. So I'll just pour that right in there. I seal it up. Maybe I'll freeze it and make it into popsicles. Now that is actually an idea. I'll say it's not, it tastes like it's supposed to be spicy, but it isn't, it, it's not, it's not hot. It's not nearly as hot as it was when it was all alone. All right, perfect. I've got some sauce to take home. This is how you best eat to store your, your uh, jungle sauce. Look at that. Beautiful texture. This looks exactly like shit. So, I would be very happy to be giving this to my guests and telling them that it is a homemade house sauce. And now you know how to make it for yourself. So thanks for coming to another exciting episode of Tempe Kitchen. That's all for today, folks. So I'll see you next time.